So hello there, the name is Prince Chuman Medu, and I warmly welcome you back to my channel. So in today's tutorial, I'd like to walk you through how to design a birthday flyer. Yes. So um, with this birthday flyer, I designed it for a friend um, on her birthday, and then I would just like to share the process with you. So the very first thing that we would like to do is to check into the description. The link is there for you to download these files for you to follow. Um, but mind you, I'm not adding her personal pictures to it. Yes. So if you have your own picture, you can just um replace it with this particular three pictures here yeah i'm not including that but you can download the rest of the files that i'll be using okay so the very first thing we like to do here is to make sure you create your canvas and then um i have this background also in the description so you can download this as well so i'll just drag and drop this particular background here and then i just make sure i stretch it to fill to fill or to fit um the canvas that i'm working on okay so um i just put it somewhere this way okay so i think just this is better so what we'll do next is to create an empty layer and then after creating the empty layer we'll pick our brush tool and then you just make sure your brush is on soft brush it's on zero percent the hardness is on zero percent and then make sure you pick a white color for it okay so what we're going to do is to um just click and then click once again to give us that um particular uh, brush um, effect and then we are going to change the opacity uh, to 49 so let's pick a 49 for that okay so we just leave it on 49 and then what we are going to do is to bring in this texture yeah we're going to bring in this texture so um let's just drag and drop this texture here and then let's increase the size of the texture yeah let's just increase the size of the texture okay so we'll make sure this also fills it and then um let's try and then reduce the opacity and let's see okay um let's play around with the blending mode okay so i think the multiplier should do okay so let me just leave it on normal let me just leave it on normal this way and then um i think yeah the 10 is better okay so now moving on i'm going to name this particular i'm going to select this three um layers and then press control command g um to group them and then i'm going to name this background okay so i'll just go ahead and then lock this particular side here so now the next thing i'll be adding is to add um, something like um, 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 a font at the back just to create some effects so I'm just going to type her name okay, so she's Benica so this is her name Benica and then what I'll do is to open or increase the size of the font to um, let's pick a 160 um, point five. Okay. so I'm going to have something like this I'm going to have something like this so we'll press ctrl or command t then we we'll just make sure we tilt it um, this way and then let's just open it up let's just open it up this way yeah so the next thing we're going to add is to add a form of glow to this so we we'll double click on this particular layer and then we we'll select outer glow so we select outer glue so um we'll make sure it's on screen and then um i think this should be on 63 yeah 63 okay so this is supposed to be on 63 um so it's giving us if we should zoom in you see it's giving us um, a form of glowing effect around it okay so moving on what i'm going to do is to bring in um these three images so i'm just going to select these three images drag and then drop them here okay so now i'm just going to rearrange them here so um this is going to move this way i think this should be on top i've actually copied the image already i just didn't want to waste time with this tutorial so um, yeah if you have your image you can just take time and then you copy the whole thing yourself okay 
so I'm just going to make sure I arrange this perfectly here this way and then this should be here I think this one has to go a little bit yeah okay so now I'm going to select this three um, I'm going to select just this um, three images that I bought here and then I'm just going to resize them okay So I think this is in front and then um, looking at it in a perspective way this should be bigger. Yeah. I think this should be bigger this way. And then the other two at the back can be a little bit smaller. So let me select this and then this particular one here. And then let me just reduce the size. So um, this is going to be somewhere here and then this I'm going to shift it here a little bit okay. so I just want to make sure this and this are on the same level so um, yeah this has to come down okay so i think this is cool this is cool so then the next thing i would like to add is um to actually um add a bit color to what she's putting on so i just want to um, deepen in the color a little bit so i'm going to create an empty layer and then what i'm going to do is to um try to sample should i even sample let me just key um, the color course and then um, I think that would be okay. So, okay, sure. So, yeah, I pick the brush to it's still on soft brush, and then I'm just going to brush too. But uh, looking at it this way is just distracting the um, image. So, what I'm going to do is to change the blended mode from normal to screen. Um, yeah, I'm going to change it from screen, and then we we'll put this on 63. So I think 63 should do. Yeah. So now I just paint over this. Um, I just paint over this carefully. Okay. Um, let's go take a little mask here. So I'm, because I'm just applying it to the first image. So um, we can take a little mask and then a brush. But I just have to make sure. Um, when I bash in, you bash it carefully because um, because I'm using the soft brush, it might just um, try to eat into the body skin. Okay, so let me just pick um, a soft iron razor. Um, yeah, yes, I think I picked the wrong one. So I'll just bash this side off. Okay. So now moving on, looking at the hair, you could see um, the cropping wasn't done that well. So we're just going to apply the same process to the hair. So I'm going to create an empty layer. Make sure I pick a back uh, a brush, and then make sure it's on black. Yeah. Just have to make sure it's on black, and then let's paint. So we paint, and then we change the blending mode from normal to let's pick a multiply. Let's just pick a multiply and then we're just going to leave it um, at let's say 66 and then i'm just going to brush through the hair this way okay um let's reduce it a little bit and let's see Okay, so I think this looks better. So I'm going to repeat the same process for the um, other two. Yeah. So I think this should also move to 66. But well, let me use a 64 for this. 
but you just have to take your time when doing this uh, because as i said if you don't take care to try it in, into the picture so you just have to take your time yeah so um let's look for this one so we'll do the same for this so we'll choose um um 65 i think i didn't change the blending mode for this yeah it should be on luminosity and then i'm going to create a clipping mask for this too okay let's change the blending mode and then let's apply but i think the 66 is not working for this particular one here let's see oops sorry i'm still having the new result too so 66 and then let's apply perfect perfect yeah so moving on moving on to this um let me add um head name now so um let's group this we can just group this um yeah control g control command g and then um now let's type in benica so i like to lock this one here because if i start typing it will start typing into this so i just want to lock this one it's still typing into it so let me just hide it um for the meantime and then um let me key in her name so it's too big this particular one is too big so let's pick a 59 59 okay so i have your benica so the font i'm using is anime so you can just um, try and then you download it so i'm going to keep this one here this way okay and then i'm going to add a drop shadow to it so we double click on that layer and then we're going to pick a drop shadow okay so you just make sure you follow this um, same pattern so this is the color codes for this particular one here and then you make sure the distance is on 20 the spread is on 32 and then the size is on 24 yeah so let me add her um last name to it so um musa okay and then with that i'm going to use a nexa i think let me pick an example board okay so i think this looks good this looks good so um with this one let's pick a 22.17 23.17 yeah and let's drop this here so with the same way we did for the um first name we're going to add or apply the same thing to this but now we're going to reduce the distance yeah So what I'd like to add is to add um, glorious birthday, glorious birthday. Okay. okay. So now with this, I'm going to use something light. So I'm using the same exact but um this time i'm going to use something light for this okay so i think this is cool this is cool and then um let's close it up by 60. i think let's use a negative 50 here yeah. yeah 60 sorry control or command t for the free transformation to and then we're just going to scale it down to actually fit this side here
Okay. I think I have to adjust this a little bit. But I still think I have to work on this. Let me select this here. I think this picture should look a little bit bigger. I think this should look a little bit bigger. And then um, let me adjust this. Just this two. Um, yeah, yeah. So I think, yeah, basically, this is cool. This is cool. So what we're going to do is to um, come back to the background that we did. Um, yeah, we're going to come back to this particular background here. Let me unlock this. So Control J to duplicate this particular one, and I'm going to move it up. I'm going to move it up to cover the whole thing. Pick the new razor tool, and then um, we're just going to play around. Okay, so we open this up a little bit, and then um, let's play around. So I just want to keep the down side this way. Okay, so let me brush this side real well. And then let me just make sure I brush this side also very well. Okay. So yeah, I think we can actually see the effect here. So we'll just keep it this way. And then um let's come back to this. So I'm selecting this and then I'm selecting this as well. Okay, so I'm going to put this one somewhere here, and then I'm going to put this one somewhere here. Okay, um, yeah, so I'm going to put, I'm going to leave this one here. Um, I think this should be somewhere here. This way, reduce the opacity. Yeah, and then. Let's bring in um, this ribbons that we have here. Let me um, let me actually take this one off. Yeah. Okay, so I'm just going to scatter. Um, I'm just going to scatter this around. Yeah. So I'm going to put this one here. I think this should be a little bit bigger. I'm going to put this here. Um, which one is going next? So I think this should come somewhere here. I think this should come somewhere. It should be a little bit smaller. Yeah. And then um, let's see. I'm going to keep this one. Oops. Okay. So I think I have to turn. I have to lock this particular one here, and then I have to lock the background too, so that it doesn't distract me. So I'm going to put this one somewhere here. And then this should be here. Okay. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So let me bring this back here. Okay. So I have this. Um, let's see. I think I want this thing to shine a little bit. Let me try putting it somewhere here and then let's see. Um, 
so it's not actually um, glowing how I want it to be let's see something okay so let me increase the um, size of the glowing okay so i think this is cool i think this is cool but let me make some adjustments to it okay okay so i think this is better now so now the last thing I'm going to add is to um, just add something like a plus one today so um, let's say we are just plus one today yeah so um, that is the last thing I'm adding so what I'm going to do is to pick the um, I'm just going to pick the ellipse to yeah and then I'm going to draw the circle here it shouldn't be too big and then it shouldn't be too small Um, you pardon me, my machine is running a bit slow. So, um, let's double click on this particularly and then let's add a gradient overlay. So, um, this is a gradient overlay that I'm using. It's actually on the radar and then this is it. So, you can just copy the um, color codes. This is how the color code looks like for this. And then, this is how the color code also looks like for this particular one. So, you can just copy the color codes and then um we move on yeah so plus one today so let's just type in something let's just type in something um yeah i still have to hide this before i can continue <laughs> yeah i think this is too big so it has to come down So with the fonts, um, let me use Akira Expanded. Okay, so I'm using Akira Expanded, and then I'm going to type in plus one, plus one. Yeah. So let's make the necessary um, adjustments. So I'm going to keep um, this one on nine point um, zero seven. So let's just say nine point zero. So nine point um, zero seven. And then I'm just going to make sure this particular one here is a bit smaller than um, the plus. Yeah. So I think it should be something like this here. Um, let's make some proper adjustments here. Okay. So it should be something like this plus one. I think it's too close so um let me just make it um let me just make it an eight let me just make it eight oops so i think it's it's also bad so um let's choose a six for it Ah, this piece is running slow. Okay, so I think just this is just better. This is just better. So let's reduce the size a little bit. So the last one I'm adding is today. So um, today I'm supposed to use Nexa for this. Um, so let's see for this one. Um, yeah, 
let me just reduce the size for this one four zero should be okay for us okay so we have here plus one today yes um one more thing let's add some texture to it so control j to duplicate this and then i'm going to move this above um almost everything that i've done here but I'm, i'll just make sure it wouldn't cover the name yeah so i'm going to hide um i'm going to actually lock this yeah let me open this and then let me turn this one on and then with this i just make sure i choose a 40 for it for the opacity okay so let's choose a 40. sorry let's just choose a 40 and then um let's see which blending mode will help the best yeah so overlay so when you zoom in um you see you have some a little bit of texture here i think that one will help yeah so i think this is cool now this is cool so now let me add shadows to this i'm sorry i selected the wrong layer Um, I'm going to pick a black for this. The distance should be zero. Um, the spread should come down. And then the size would also have to come down. Yeah. So basically, 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 this is how the, the whole thing works. So yeah, I just did it like this and then um, she liked it. Yeah. So this is where I'm ending the tutorial. I just make sure you like you leave a comment in the comment section if you have any questions just let me know in the comment section just remember to um, download the files in the description below and make sure you subscribe to the channel yes so once again the name is true my name is thank you for having me um and i'm out peace